коллеги. У нас сегодня такая хорошая, необычная секция, потому что, во-первых, мы сидим практически спиной к аудитории, во-вторых, нас двое, но мы постараемся сделать так, чтобы все получили удовольствие. Меня зовут Андрей Онищенко, я директор рекламного агентства Грей. Marketing, digital marketing, new forms of clients' uh, involvement. Uh, so let's try. Uh, let's start uh, uh, telling what 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 happens in our market, how relationship with the clients occur, and then what happens to the advertising. And then, uh, as we proceed, so we'll see what uh, you might be interested in, and we'll be asking questions, and we'll take it from there. So let me give the floor to Andre. Uh, uh, good. Uh, uh, So let me. Uh, uh, so the digital agency Grape uh, is a famous uh, uh, agency. I don't think there is any need to, to uh, uh, introduce. And I think that everyone knows about Yandex as well. Mm. Mm -hmm. And uh, mm -hmm. uh, so who thinks he is a marketologist? And uh, who thinks uh, he is a businessman? More people. And who thinks he is a start startup guy? Okay, so we understand uh, uh, who uh, the cross section is there. Uh, so if we start, then uh, so let, let let me let me uh, let me uh, scare you, put some fear of God in you. And uh, and I uh, want to uh, scare you that you are living in uh, in interesting times, and, uh, and uh, that's scary by itself. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's quite challenging, but interesting. And we need to think a lot mm, about that. And then uh, and then the statistics uh, uh, say that. Uh, that uh, the changes uh, in the marketing uh, are the fastest. And so they take place so fast. And uh, so when we adjust the product uh, to the needs of the client, uh, so we, uh, so then we never had uh, before uh, 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 th where the changes would be so, so fast. And uh, so this, the, 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 the speed of change is just amazing. It's so quick. Mm. 20? How old is Internet? Approximately 20 years. And we still believe that it's new, it's burgeoning, emerging, things like that. All the fine words. But still, still have computer courses and people who need to be taught to use the computer. But what I have never seen is serious uh, uh, chargeable courses, for instance, to learn an iPhone or whatever, an iPad. Have you ever seen, raise your hands if you uh, saw how a three years old uh, with iPad in his hands behaves? Any questions about the need uh, of the courses to learn iPad, to handle iPad? No. So iPad and the concept of tablet uh, appeared approximately four years ago because uh, some, somewhere March or in March or April 2010, Uh, actually was uh, the timing when this device uh, was introduced. It uh, actually caused much skepti skepticism and laughter. Who needs this uh, huge bulky phone? And now the countries uh, where Apple and Samsung and the other tablet producers pay more attention than to Russia, the uh, device's penetration exceeds uh, 37 Uh, I guess percent. So almost every third person in the U.S. or in the northern European countries uses a tablet. And this is incomparable to any internet. Four years after something appeared, it was still a toy for advanced geeks and the experts uh, in uh, the area of education, for university uh, community, for business, whatever. It uh, Uh, it took five years to penetrate the business circles. 
and then the uh, new history that doesn't have the entry barriers. And I hope uh, in Russia uh, in uh, three to four years is going to take a mass character. Again, it uh, appeared that it emerged only four years ago. No one knows how to use it properly uh, or use it marketing, whatever. This is a very classical digital. And uh, they try to compare, try to compare computers and tablets. And uh, uh, the tablets and the computers that you can put to your knees, and it's not so heavy as a laptop. It would be good if not the story, if but for the story of the, you know, uh, behavioral patterns. Uh, so not to go into academic stories, but talk about the practical things. For instance, in the internet promotion, uh, ABCs, you know, very often we have a notion of sight. In order to uh, promote uh, through the net, you need a site and a banner that we hang somewhere and people click and go to the website. And then the ultimate dream of a marketologist is, uh, you know, let us make a button there to put in the uh, 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 list, specialist the selected uh, list and the or home page. And then the loyal users will turn to us every day. You know what? The um, uh, people do not use those uh, t um, uh, tabs in the browser. You're advanced. Who uses uh, those uh, tabs? Advanced, but not 100%. And we know we uh, promote browser and uh, uh, and the other uh, uh, tricks that we did for other browsers. And the 5% of active use, 10% on average, uses tools like uh, uh, tabs. So look at this screen. What is that? This is a panel of tabs. And you see, you can leave through it. You can uh, uh, go through them. And people, in fact, use it. And uh, we have this classic story in marketing. If you want uh, during this uh, modern age uh, to say a couple of words uh, that De describe uh, the modern uh, era as a professional marketologist. It's I cannot. I, I'm not saying digital. I don't uh, give a damn. You know. Uh, so it if it is a digital uh, channel or different channel bringing my TV signal. But uh, the story is uh, that the world becomes connected because everything you connect everything. So this device talks to my smartphone. And uh, at home, I have a flower that complains that today in the morning I forgot to water it, and he feels uh, dry, uh, 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 and uh, he feels thirsty. So this is not future. This is today. You come here and you wave uh, at the uh, reading with your barcode on your badge uh, to the reading device uh, scanning scanner, and then. Uh, they will install RFID uh, tags, and they will just register you without uh, uh, you part your participation, without you having to raise a hand. You don't, cannot even imagine how much uh, companies know about it, you, and they will know even more. So there is a story that the world becomes gets connected, more or less everything. Mm. The rates, uh, when I say next years it's not 20 next years is three to four years everything around you will be talking about you with something up there in the cloud this is inevitable so i'm trying to get you out of this horror story and uh, back to our uh, soil so uh, there are so many people who know and don't know what to use how to use there are thousands and millions of companies that use uh, Yandex ads and uh, use statistics and uh, go there, mine for data. And what ha what's happening in this segment? What would uh, the advertisers do in Yandex in internet and business? So there was a story that for a long time in Yandex people, there were two types of people. Uh, one was so-called uh, old conventional who knew how to buy a GRP on TV and uh, how to buy a, 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 an article in a magazine. And uh, 
with the same approach, they would come to Yandex and say at your main page, how many, 50 million? Can I have a banner? Absolutely TV uh, mentality or magazine mentality model of perception of communication. So 50 million people, I will show them uh, that I have a very nice car in my car uh, shop. And the second model that is proper to Yandex, I missed this model when uh, we do not just uh, show to all the 50 million people something, but we were showing exactly something that the context advertising, what the person would want to see. And look, in, if in your car dealer there is a Ford unsold, so it's better probably to show to the people who were kind of uh, browsing for Fords. And uh, you know, and uh, in this modern world, this digital ad, context advertising, uh, 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 amounts for over 50%. Yeah, I saw this um, high and mighty attitude of big companies to agencies, creative agencies, uh, that I heard that, guys, you do something there within some, some percent uh, from the total market, and we don't even see you, but let me tell you about the way we see the market. In my view, there is a, a rough um, a breakdown for two types of company. One is branding oriented and uh, to do with the, well, whatever banners, involvement, creative uh, videos uh, would be shown uh, on TV. And uh, what uh, FMCG companies often do that cannot uh, uh, trace uh, 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 purchasing in shops. And uh, performance marketing companies uh, that uh, study the transaction and try to track back and uh, to the very origination. And as I see it uh, in our agency, those two types of clients or two types of uh, tasks require a different approach. Well, in fact, it's the same clients, uh, but uh, what you are telling is very corporate-centric approach. What would marketing want in a corporation? Marketing does not always understand what do people want if they use their product. So I would try to rephrase it uh, from other angle, uh, from the user's angle. Uh, and uh, there is a, a discovery, a discovery, a person, no context advertising will uh, uh, um, uh, 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 boost the project that the people don't know or a category. Uh, remember we were talking seven years ago and for the seven, uh, so when we were making a workshop on context ad, for instance, your grandmother, your mom uh, could not even dream of uh, that uh, or a potable water will be sold in a store. So the concept that you buy water in bottles is weird to them, is rather new. So until people get used to the idea and until they learn that, that, that there's something like potable uh, drinking bottled water, you, you will, the, you, no context ad will work. First, you tell them about it. You have a new product, start uppers, uh, that's for you. New product, no one knows. Great idea, but people will not ask. All the smart technologies will fail because nobody knows that you are around there somewhere lurking in the dark. So same goes for the big brand. I do not uh, think, uh, so we can mention brands, right? It's not, uh, because sometimes people say no names. So there is a, a book, uh, the textbook story. At the discovery stage, uh, uh, everything that creative agencies do is absolutely vital, necessary, because it's with their help that we can invent how you go get the people interested in your product, how you tell that this product is great. And uh, it w without it, your life was trash until uh, it appeared. But then you, they come to you, they buy uh, for the first time, they go to your website, they do something. Next, what? You are a bad business if you sell something once and then you wipe your sweat off and uh, I hope he will not uh, go back and hit me when he tries. This is lousy business. Real business model is a good product and a loyal customer who will keep coming to you and uh, purchasing your product. So a proper model works in such a way in the modern world. For instance, if I want uh, to change my coffee machine because I'm fed up 
uh, going uh, running for the proper sort of coffee because we have these caps capsular machines. I'm, I, I, I am not going to buy this coffee anymore. I hate it. I want to buy other type of coffee, Nespresso. Uh, I bought this Nespresso uh, coffee machine. I went to the website uh, to learn what uh, sorts of coffee they have, so classic advertisement, because they convinced me that Nespresso is right. Then they... Uh, lured me to the site, but that's where the ad stopped. I got somewhere, they brought me to the place they needed, and the first uh, uh, task of marketologist is uh, addressed. So now they need to get me buy those capsules for the whole, and then they tell me, get this great app. First, we shall notify you when uh, uh, we get a new sort of coffee, then we have a new coffee machine, we shall definitely let you know. You will be the first, and as you are becoming an Espresso Club member, we shall give you great discounts. And after that, you will never see me at Nespresso's website from the, I'm dead. But from the point of view of their business, they killed uh, all the birds with one stone. Because once a week, I uh, go to this um, uh, application and make an order every week. And this is a story of multi-screen world where the digital communication, I wonder how you are going to answer because this is the ball to you. So digital communication and digital marketing stops being marketing on a big uh, uh, screen, well, uh, desktop screen. You cannot. How, how do you address it? So most of the companies, as we see, realize that mobile and uh, other types of uh, tablets is a part of uh, advertising uh, media mix and effort and uh, elements of uh, messages delivery and communication. And uh, uh, you cannot even imagine life without it. But in the Western countries, there's an uh, important thing is that most of the company use mobile channel as an, a complementary way to uh, shows the same information. But looking at the big companies with the extensive uh, ad campaigns on TV, they start talking about the screens that a person uh, who watches your ad on the TV uh, virtually or a show that you sponsor at this uh, moment, uh, you can see that during the um, break, people <coughs> go to their tablets and uh, then they touch your brand uh, and uh, correct me, so it's not multi-screen, it's not the small screen, because this is TV, desktop computer, big computer, this is your smartphone, and very soon multimedia device in your car screen. So several years down the road, you will not be uh, uh, able to escape the marketing communications. I understand the capacity of big companies are big, and uh, we can tell lots of stories uh, or, uh, like Procter & Gamble, Unilever, who now think if should they should go to dual screen or multiple screen. But what should the startups and because when there is no TV, when you have no banner, same thing. Because what I'm telling you about uh, Nestle, uh, because Nespresso is their uh, brand, uh, well, uh, covers the startup. If a startup fails to tell something on the big uh, computer script and the internet at the website, newspaper, wherever I read it, I go to, I, I, I visit them. And if it is a more or less uh, proper service, uh, something to dream, then their dream is when I download their app. You think the paradigm is changing? Looking at all the super new brands uh, that pop up and products, from SAP to Tesla and iPhone, I'm sure that the advertising costs uh, were relatively small, but probably the vendors and the businesses should think about the loyalty products and stop just uh, practicing standard approach when we make a product targeted at you, you, you don't know who, and then tons of ads, and then understand which is best, then double the ads, then make a special offer. So. Huh? does the paradigm change for products? Interesting. When I was telling you about this conventional media ads in digital, we call it media ads because it's 
similar to the traditional conventional bini, like a banner. No difference from the uh, cover uh, ad on uh, in a magazine, but there was contacts ads that were shown in the search results and uh, I guess you used uh, the Yandex uh, face is for big brands but if you are a startup what do you do in Yandex uh, I guess uh, yeah uh, you cannot afford it you cannot afford the uh, front uh, Yandex front page uh, yeah we are going to launch but this is a story that this media ads was called this way and used this way as a traditional media and the same way and it's now dwindling and shrinking to zero very soon we shall not see it in a conventional manner and those who do media planning will not be able even the to buy the yandex muzzle the yandex face whatever or a banner at a lenta ru uh, no but on vesti.ru, vesti, the news.ru. And I have a favorite question, you know. Please uh, don't get offended if you don't know the word. This is a test that I love to make. People are broken down into three categories, those who can count and those who cannot. Answering the question, uh, uh, yeah, I, I'm used to write on the walls, so I will uh, write on a paper. There, are, there is a three-letter acronym, RTP. Who knows what is that? What comes to your head? What You raise your hand. Tell me what you think it is. RTP. Good. Classical marketologist. And we have some people of the breed. So reason to believe, important component of a brief. There are technologies for whom are t people familiar with uh, technologies, uh, uh, well, perceive RTB is something different, real-time billing. This is the automated ads placing including this media by form and banners, uh, videos, and uh, this is a key thing. You, you see? Almost no hands that would be ready to uh, explain the acronym. Without it, uh, you will find it hard uh, to live without these acronyms, with media advertising as uh, with content, without understanding how Yandex Direct or Google AdWords work. Uh, I will not even ask, but yeah, do you believe it's going to uh, be operational within the next five years? Uh, I understand that if you're a brand, a mid-brand, and you uh, place your ads in Yandex Direct, so real-time bidding is a, uh, a sensible thing. And uh, if you're a big client, uh, so then a big agency works with you. and. Uh, uh, they sell many different things to you, and those failures uh, that we saw with RTB over the last few years do not have a Until 70% of the market uh, comes to RTB, it will not launch, and large clients do not uh, seem to be eager to come to RTB. So first, uh, they will have no other, they, they will not be able to escape it. They will come. As uh, a rule, it's not going to be absolute, just like, like context advertising did not kill the banners. It doesn't happen like that in life. RTB, uh, learn horrible uh, words like programmatic buying uh, that will service most of the purchases, uh, buying and uh, showing the media ads just because it is more efficient. It is more efficient for the site, and that's why the site is going to put uh, set up this code. So it's going to mean that uh, there is a some big system. I'm I'm really simplifying, but I'm not going to uh, deliver a lecture on the technology with uh, uh, spaces where you can show a banner. There is number of banners from different advertisers, and uh, this website uh, where you can show banners. Uh, a person comes, and over the seconds, while the 
site is being downloaded, this system immediately decides that he now better be shown this ad because uh, most probably he will click on it. And this is good for the site because showing this banner, you get the highest uh, fee commission. And uh, it's important to put in a code. Yeah, in this system, the uh, handling interfaces will look like as this system is with uh, um, uh, 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 the the, the uh, tool. So, like direct or works at it works uh, uh, rather than classical buying where you buy flight. Uh, uh, targeting what the, the hell targeting so this is another word that you should forget quickly uh, what share of the market in rtb1 globally around five and uh, according to estimates by 2015 25 30 and now globally five percent uh, russia one but uh, we are tablets and uh, uh, do not have the penetration of 35, but less than 10%. I see that RTB is a thing that seems to be approaching, like mobile, while we were talking, but it didn't, it was not happening. And I believe there is a huge market of data sales on, uh, about the computer. These are all uh, uh, related things. You understand that any new uh, thing need to be uh, told, you know, you are uh, horribly conservative for 2014, you know, uh, you probably see that, uh, for instance, we uh, play uh, in alliance with Google through RTB. Yesterday I met a Ukrainian ad advertising agency who told that Yandex purchases, buys secondary data on what's happening in Google. So they spy over each other. They, they, so uh, I, why I told you, forget about classic targeting because this is a dying thing that's going to be extinct. What is classical targeting? Our goods need audience from girls uh, from 18 to 25 with income over 35,000 rubles, uh, living in urban areas from 100 to 1 million. Crap. It does not describe any um, uh, preference. Uh, it, this is like a, cl a crutch that helps you to look like a marketing. You know, uh, looking at people, we can only say gender and age. And traditionally, in marketing, we used to describe our target audience through age and gender, especially startuppers. If you uh, treat your audience like that, you will never fly. Uh, a unique story that I want you uh, to hear that shocked our client because those classical metrics that our audience is women, 30 plus, uh, high income, premium audience. And this picture works well when you have a banner or what. When we make a company with involvement, it turns out this beautiful picture that is uh, necessary for ladies, for women of other age, but who want to look similar, like to, to want to mimic uh, uh, affluent, successful ladies. And then they put, uh, then engagement, brand. So it turns out that the people are totally different and then you are stuck. You don't know what to do. If you go further, you understand that uh, uh, your business is not about 30 plus ladies with high income. They, you, you actually uh, fail. And I guess this is a breakthrough in uh, uh, the so I, I used to hear from clients that agency, you give us presentations uh, that just help us out. But the biggest mistake is to think that the companies do not know the consumer. They make a picture, they draw a picture, and they pretend to believe in it. And uh, huge changes in uh, the brains and perception of uh, in the market uh, over the next 10 years. Five, okay. I don't know what's going to happen in 20 years. So look 20 years back, you could not even describe things like tablets, whatever. So the number of gadgets uh, needs to be digested.
No, it's the other way around. Uh, so, and uh, they they transfer to uh, uh, so from uh, quantity to quality, uh, data-wise. Uh, while we had uh, 2.5 uh, targeting, uh, uh, so it, it took two years just to to teach uh, what the key words are and what the customer wants to know. So now, just it takes only a few days. I think that the main the main mistake of uh, retailers and uh, their clients. Because they don't, they don't know how much the advertising will cost, and uh, so it will. So advertising costs certainly will val uh, will vary all the time, uh, and this is this is only natural. So the prices will change, uh, because the prices will change as well when you go to different shops. And uh, I don't know, so a jacket uh, uh, may cost uh, for, uh, so so much here, and so and the same kind of jacket may cost uh, differently. And so, because if uh, so, it depends on the, on the snob value. Because uh, so, the same jacket may cost different. Mm. And uh, so, it's when you buy uh, uh, an air ticket, uh, uh, so then the difference uh, maybe five seven percent difference. Yeah, because you don't want. And uh, so then, uh, when you do the targeting, so if uh, they uh, get through Macasi, so he is quoted higher price than. Uh, uh, if you go, uh, if you enter the system uh, using other uh, uh, systems, uh, then uh, so I can't. I can't repeat the question I heard. So I, uh, I suggest we forget about marketing and. Uh, and forget about the description of the target audience because the target audience are the people who want uh, to buy your product, period. So then describe the product. If you don't understand who wants to buy your product, you are in, uh, uh, you have a problem with the product. Um, and this is where your product marketing uh, becomes uh, more important than promotional uh, marketing, communications marketing. Let me finish. Uh, because. Product on there is uh, such a product, technological product, which has been launched for a while, has been operating for uh, the, in the crypto market. Uh, the name is lookalike, uh, lookalike product. So let's take cars, uh, passenger cars. Uh, uh, so car manufacturers they segment the market very well. So, but uh, so for example, our car is uh, just uh, the uh, hatch hatchback uh, family car with two kids. Uh, uh, usually short uh, rides, uh, so this is then certain age group, certain income, and so you com compartmentalize. It's good that you have, uh, when it's, it's good that you keep in your hands so this uh, this family when you develop the product, and it's good when you advertise it. Uh, it's good, uh, but uh, mm -hmm. this is what grape does so well. Uh, but. Uh, but uh, this is what grape can do and no other technology can do and uh, uh, we need to remember that and then when we have uh, a certain number of people who bought uh, this product and uh, so we have a database uh, then you don't need any targeting uh, uh, for sex and age and number of kids in the family so then you will need um, uh, so we need the users uh, uh, like those uh, who uh, were buying Nissan Juke and uh, not not important how old they are because there is a reference point, and because there is a, a it's a benchmark there already, so it means that the crypto technologies uses more than two hundred uh, uh, indices uh, uh, because we we always canvas the internet uh, we know the behavior uh, we know so how many pages uh, per session we read so how often. How often we uh, push the button b back in the browser, uh, queries, behavioral patterns. Uh, so there are several hundreds of them. So this combination of such things can be grouped. And then you realize that there is a certain cluster of such behavioral characteristics, uh, which, uh, which, is, which is characteristic of those who buy this kind of car. And we'll be showing it to them. And then, and then, this, then we'll see that uh, the ages, the distribution of ages, and then uh, there are a number of kids in the family, income level, and then, and then you won't have to spend money 
uh, 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 so on, on the people who are within the same age group, but uh, they already bought a different kind of car. So this uh, people like the like those who are buyers of my car, right? So this is this is very important for the modern marketing system. That's a sufficient description uh, for the modern marketing system. So we can say that the, the, the targeting as a word will stay the same, uh, and the marketologists. So when you go to a shop and you buy Head and Shoulders, and then you buy a lot of this, and then you don't buy anything else. So, but they will be telling you about Procter and Gamble stuff and Unilever when they say when they uh, when they. Uh, launch a new product, uh, so they will be certainly targeting you as well. So then, uh, so at our conference, uh, marketologist conference uh, last year, uh, organized by by Yandex last year. So then we were scaring marketologists. Uh, we tried just to uh, to scare them. Uh, so then, so because there are many many things where a marketologist is not required. And uh, yeah, so, but there, then there is a startup, and then we have a good programming engineer, so they know how the system works. And then he says, so your marketing optimization is not needed. And so the script will do that, and the sales will go up 20 times without participation of men. And that's exactly what happens in the communications uh, uh, environment. Uh, uh, so what? Uh, uh, makes us very unhappy because in the marketing communications uh, so the machine knows better than than a human being what to do but they don't know how how it does it just we have no idea uh, why uh, this side uh, so for example is on the on, uh, is always the, the first position uh, when we talk about certain level of uh, certain type of queries and uh, why this site is more popular than the other one so we know how it works more or less, but uh, uh, so but these sites live uh, uh, lives of their own, and uh, we don't know how they operate. So they, it's it's got out of hand. Mm, uh, so we don't know just what what kind of landing page uh, to show. So algorithm uh, do it better than the best of market marketologists. Uh, so then uh, then the uh, so then some algorithms uh, so work much better. Uh, than uh, anyone just who can do this automatic billing machines do it better than than any uh, individual who can do it by hand and uh, so in the marketing machines will make all the decisions and we need to what need to learn we need to explain to the machine what you want uh, this machine to do because our brain is not good enough anymore and so you just tell the machine what what to do and uh, there will be a lot of other things. Uh, you were talking about the air tickets, and on every site, uh, so there is always uh, uh, there is a uh, uh, so there is an advice uh, how to how to look for tickets. Uh, probably it's a cat and mouse game. No, this is very simple classical example. Uh, from uh, the uh, when we go back to uh, the uh, initial stages of the development of uh, uh, complicated targeting uh, uh, efforts, uh, so then here we have 200 factors here to 800 factors, and no one knows uh, uh, how it will work. Will it fly or not? It's impossible to deceive the system. It's self-sufficient, working by itself. But if you want to buy the lowest, uh, the, the, a certain product at the lowest. Uh, uh, co uh, price. Then you go. Uh, you you study you study the internet and you find the lowest price. You can do that. Yeah, but but the uh, smart system is a certain criterion too. The system understands that this guy uh, always buys the cheapest product, and then and then they need to give that that guy a very cheap uh, a cheap proposals. So, uh, so there are two there are several uh, two two types of people. Uh, so the uh, mm, so, for example, that organize, uh, 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 that, that, that operate in the market. So there's price conscious and uh, people who, uh, so then uh, some of them uh, want uh, high quality shops. Uh, 
So that's why so one sort of people so need to find reference to the cheapest products. Yeah, and uh, and then other people. So because uh, maybe this uh, refrigerator will not work when you plug it in, but he will be very very uh, happy that that this product. Uh, uh, so he bought it very cheaply. And so the behavior of the people in the environment is quite different. So by the way, so the, this issue related to the prices, different prices of, co of jackets. Maybe there will be a company that, that will position itself differently. So I don't care who you are, we're not watching you, here's our product, please buy. I'm sure such, such companies will, uh, will come up eventually, but it will be only a niche a niche that will live well because it's a different new approach uh, they're not and there's a renaissance vanilla there is a new one because they thought that uh, the the digital digital more digital music killed the cd players uh, so killed uh, uh, the uh, uh, the uh, the old record players uh, but uh, actually so the companies that that manufacture old old pl uh, uh, records uh, all records uh, made of uh, so vinyl records are making a lot of money, and, this, um, and, and, and so then they say that that it's not true that uh, that the uh, old records will kill the market of CDs uh, or or memory stick music. No, it won't work, and uh, so uh, it they, they will coexist for a while, and then uh, uh, so then through stages in 30 years time, so it will. Uh, so it will be looked upon like an ex an excess and an excess of obesity, and then yeah, so no one understands how it will happen. What what will it look like in in 30 years time? And uh, so the future is nonlinear and absolutely unpredictable. So the question, the company which has been the leader uh, for 20 years in the area of learning programs on CD discs, as yes, I understand that they are dying. But uh, we went uh, into the cloud, in, into the cloud, and now just we know how to do this uh, media uh, uh, training programs. So, so the clients, prototypes, uh, we sell online as well. But there is an issue. Uh, so when we uh, uh, write uh, the business plan, so we're selling abroad, mm. and we are writing the business plan that needs to be justified and the feasibility study. Uh, what costs, uh, uh, marketing costs, we need to incur at the global market. So are there any figures uh, of uh, uh, so attracting one client uh, is so much uh, money? It depends on what kind of product you have. Uh, uh, because uh, education changed. Uh, because um, uh, so then the, the compact disks uh, may be created in the cloud. But there is a huge gap now uh, because people get so much information that the, 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 that the old uh, systems of training don't work because people don't read books, no interactions, boring. And if you make a bad product, uh, and they will not buy anything. We have Linda, which is our competition. Then we have, um, I forgot. Another, uh, uh, it's a computer. Uh, so we, we uh, the cost, the cost of a click, all right, click cost. No, no. The, so our products are better than Western products. So then, in international competition, so they're making hundreds of millions of dollars in English speaking, only English speaking. So if your product is better, you don't have to advertise, because it's all easy. Is uh, uh, take 100 uh, uh, in face, uh, Facebook and give them links. And if this is true, then tomorrow you'll make twenty million dollars. But if this is not true, but this, uh, you don't have. If your product is better, you'll have money by default. Uh, this is true. This is true. I I agree because, in other words, uh, so I always like to say to those startup guys uh, 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 who, uh, uh, who who show their marketing marketing plan and they say I need my marketing cost should be such and such and uh, 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 so when I, I know what your marketing plan uh, will look like because for example contact Facebook Twitter uh, so your budgets there you need to calculate and uh, so you spend time uh, to increase awareness of your products so you advertise uh, uh, so but you need 
uh, 1,000, 10,000, 100,000 people. What if uh, if this uh, 10,000 people learn about your product, but if they st if they don't decide to buy, it means that your product won't fly. You can't forget about it, and you need to stop it. If they if they haven't started uh, uh, sharing with their friends uh, about your new product, it means your product uh, stinks, and you don't need uh, to continue. Mm. If they haven't started, uh, you know, to recommend your product, uh, share this product, uh, and uh, so be proud of your products, uh, and uh, so then you need to reconsider your product. Just evaluate. So uh, how much uh, uh, different 10,000, first 10,000 installations cost? Uh, so then the new belief, the new era, uh, the era of, uh, of convenient uh, gadgets and products, uh, that's uh, easy access to social media, people uh, are proud, share, they talk to each other, communicate. But bad products, uh, they sink, uh, even if uh, the advertising costs are huge. Mm, it's not working. So then you have, and if you have a product that has no, if you sell milk, for example, no technical characteristics, ordinary milk, and you have 20 competitors, is the same kind of milk. So then it's, it's a marketing, so you have to get to the shelf, etc. because all, all other things being equal. How you can compare yogurts, uh, uh, for example, so, so then the premium brand of, of the yogurt, and it's, it's skyrocketing. So it's not, it's, not much, it's not better than other types of yogurts, but this yogurt sells, this doesn't. Uh, so what's this? I think that this blind test shows that this is marketing effort. You take expensive whiskey and then cheap whiskey. They say, they say, this expensive whiskey. And then you blindfold the guy and then you then you taste cheap, uh, cheap whiskey and expensive whiskey and no one sees the difference. And then, uh, so then, or the same with kefir, the same with, with, uh, with, with yogurt. Uh, so they give, they give you a chance to uh, uh, to taste uh, both types of uh, of yogurts and they and you see no difference and uh, so then you go to uh, to certain areas so i know uh, where this uh, this uh, yogurt uh, uh, can be can be uh, can, uh, can 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 be purchased and and then you go this because of, i don't know what they put in this yogurt but it's the best and that's why i'm ready just to go to the ends of the world and line up and buy this yogurt because i like it and uh, 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 so I never had so uh, many comments uh, in my, mm, under my post. Mm, I shared, Andre, we want to buy this yogurt. It's so beautiful, so nice, so tasty. I'm ready just to travel and line up. That's a good story. Yeah. Uh, so just don't tell me about milk. Uh, so this yogurt that I'm ready just to travel to get. Uh, uh, so that's a good example. So I'm just... Uh, I'm spending, I'm spending time, I'm spending hours, you know, just to get the, the and it's not the label that I'm going for, it's, uh, I'm going for the test. Uh, uh, so then uh, the plugging is the, uh, is the advertising cutter, so they don't see any banners, you know. So one of the wonderful plugins is uh, all of them are removed, uh, so no advertising. So that's what's your uh, attitude to, to those plugins that, that cut the advertising? I think that um, this is true, that uh, this is the story that they say, so when I never click on the advertising, and all my friends say, are we idiots, so we'd never click on the advertising. Yeah, yeah so everyone thinks that, and, uh, uh, so because you, you think so, but not others, because I'm not uh, a representative uh, person. Because if I don't wear this shirt, uh, then I'm a bad marketologist. Uh, uh, so about five, seven percent, they click on advertising. Uh, so, so we can uh, certainly throw out five, seven percent uh, from the media. Uh, so then CRM starts, and brand will find you anyway. Uh, yeah, so then, uh, uh, at the end of the day, you get the report on uh, uh, by clicks, not by people. Then you place banner advertising uh, opportunity to see and not uh, uh, the fact that the person just w was looking and reading your banner very carefully. So 
five per percent did not see it even, and uh, so you you may you may disregard it. Uh, so because he, if the if the guy if the guy hates advertising so much, uh, then uh, and then put a plug in to kill your advertising. It's no point just to try to get to him because he will be not your audience anyway. He will has he will have other sources of information and not your information. So they're still in Yandex, 100,000 people, they say in Yandex, Yandex.ru. Uh, we'll never understand these people, but there are many people like that, Yandex.ru. They just key it in every morning. Uh, but uh, uh, so I can see that many people, uh, f for them, uh, the internet is a social media. And so they spend much time there and uh, so how will the world change? Uh, what's going to happen soon? Uh, when Perikovsky was the uh, head of the of the head of commerce uh, commercial department in contacts uh, in contact, uh, uh, so I said, so forget about C brand because it's a dying uh, advertising, but the targeting targeted advertising will call all direct. Uh, uh, so it's, it's a different user scenarios. Don't you understand that? Because there are certain things that should not be advertised in any direct. So, for example, I'm the guy from a company that made uh, more than a billion company, billion uh, dollars uh, uh, in direct. But but there are things that should not be advertised in contact. And uh, so then there are uh, recent examples. Uh, so in contact, uh, contact, and contact is good. If you have a very small business uh, for uh, for a very specific uh, targeted audience, uh, for, some, for example, if you if you sell wonderful uh, local skirts, uh, uh, folk skirts, and then and you're good at it, and then uh, uh, and so that she she needs to to sell 50 skirts like that uh, to uh, to go uh, for a holiday in Thailand. And uh, uh, so then the classical example of those guys uh, uh, would be this, uh, this seller of context uh, advertising. So then uh, the folks, Kurtz request, uh, so put it in Yandex. It, it's, it's, it's a bit my bad way just to, uh, uh, to, 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 waste, uh, to waste away your budget. It's bad to target uh, uh, those who are in those who are in Facebook, for example, just show your skirts. You have some people who will be lining up for your skirt. Just put it in the Facebook, and because this issue can be can be addressed with the help of social networks. Uh, another example: you opened up a new shop in 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 your administrative district, um, and uh, people frequent it, uh, but not uh, not too much. So there is certain traffic. Uh, food traffic, not much. Let's say a books a bookstore, and uh, and then you want you want to do the digital promotion, and uh, uh, so then uh, uh, Facebook Facebook uh, in contact, it may help because th those guys can target it very well, because they can target tell you that you opened up, and so you immediately get the loyal audience because they will tell you about about the fact that you uh, uh, opened a, a shop. Uh, or a store, and then in three weeks' time, uh, 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 so people will start flocking, and they said they will start looking inside the social network, and uh, to find the right information in social networks is quite dangerous, a uh, difficult, and then if you put in a, 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 a big bookstore in Mariano, and uh, you need to key in the request and uh, uh, search. Uh, and find this this shop, and uh, social media is much wider because the advertisers uh, who place uh, a lot of advertising in Yandex and uh, in uh, and on standard displays, so they use social media to uh, to touch base to involve your audience. Uh, yeah, right. We have uh, we have Yandex uh, with. Uh, 100 million people, we have, you have our corporate blogs, and you won't believe, so we have special people, uh, SMM group, uh, uh, so then they have a page uh, 
about Yandex uh, in, uh, in the Facebook. Uh, what's the purpose? No, the HRs have their own little page uh, because instead of, uh, so they, they get in Yandex in the Facebook and they fi find it there. Uh, but uh, so then you are right in saying that the company uh, that uh, places a certain things in Yandex, but Yandex uh, cannot efficiently uh, uh, cooperate with its audience and uh, uh, so and not being uh, actively present uh, in social networks. Uh, and uh, so if you are not there, you can't talk to your audience. So what's going to happen uh, uh, in the next two years, within the next two years, Yandex will change, uh, RTB will grow, What what's going to happen? And then uh, so st certain things will die out, uh, CO uh, will die out, uh, so why so late? Um, everyone is saying that uh, Master Bank uh, so will refuse to die, but then it was closed down. Mm -hmm. So this is when the quality uh, changes into quality. Uh, so then, so then, uh, so then the uh, circulation was uh, uh, was uh, homogeneous, uh, and it was very impossible to fight it because it was very difficult to find the threshold where where there was this black product and where there was the uh, the good product. So buying uh, links uh, uh, that's another option. Uh, sometimes these links uh, so were uh, bought for a purpose. Uh, you could not just uh, 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 isolate them when you buy them and find them. Uh, so sometimes a sale starts to become uh, poorly uh, 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 forecasted uh, uh, on price. Uh, so we see that and the market is changing rapidly. So we've been involved in content development, producing content. And that's when we made a big platform for one of the brands uh, about cooking unique content with good site, good pictures, video available, uh, traffic in uh, uh, through the site, through Yandex, through Google, was so big that uh, it was cheaper than, than, than to buy advertising. Uh, and, those, and, uh, and those who come, uh, 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 those who want to do something more personified and then they want a lot of uh, a specific content, uh, so they are, they are canvassing the market, and uh, so then there are very few uh, uh, proposals. Uh, so then we need to do an, a dedicated site, but a, a good uh, social network uh, page, uh, be because it's better just to go where people uh, already exist, where people are, and uh, forums, discussions, etc. Any more questions? Uh, targeting you just uh, spoke about. Um, you said that the, by the way they are uh, clicking, you can come up with the behavior of the person. So what about need-based marketing? That means knowing about the customer, what he wants, and developing your product based upon his need, uh, and then you have to profile him. So you are assuming that the, pro the product is ready, and then you are looking at the behavior. Um, actually, sorry, I, I don't quite understand what is the question. Yes, of, of course, we assume that we do know how our prospects do behave. So we can s find similar uh, people on the net. So that's why we call it look-alike. So that you can describe the behavior patterns for your uh, for your either already existing customers or your prospects. If you don't know, then you have to start with traditional marketing and to really understand what they are doing, so how do they look online? Okay, so that answers the one part of my question, which is for existing customers, I think it will work perfectly. But when you're introducing a new product and innovation, then you have to go back to targeting. Otherwise, you cannot yeah. find the need of the people to address them. Yes, th that's what uh, approximately what I was saying, that when you introduce a completely new product, uh, you should not rely perhaps on a traditional marketing. You more should rely on word of mouth. So you do really need a very small amount of marketing, seed marketing to even say application so that a few tens of thousand people install this application. If after that uh, viral distribution 
doesn't begin, then you have a problem. Yeah, before you find the ambassadors of your product, you, you will not be able to make uh, very good advertising. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay, thank you. Uh, another question. Uh, I think that, uh, so then there's a question. Someone uh, uh, keeps his hand raised. So uh, new forms uh, of advertising, is there any difference? Uh, will there be any difference between uh, uh, B2C and B2C markets? Uh, will there be any specifics? Uh, yes, it's always been there. So a huge difference between B2C and B2B. Uh, will it stay uh, different? Or the, the the boundary between the two will will disappear. No, it will stay because all the stories about high tax stories as they always work on big statistical databases. They do not work on products that sell. I'm exaggerating, uh, but the B two B marketing is uh, is just sales when you know exactly the requirements. So you customize manually, so you know exactly the client. You customize the product. And specifically, special conditions, uh, strings attached, adaptation, calibration, it's B2B. Much depends whether the product is sold through a trade representative or a specific person and whether the price is fixed or not. Because if you sell standard conditioner, a condition for half a million dollar, you can place advertising and then the client will buy. But if you sell a consulting for half a million dollars, uh, you won't sell anything. Uh, and uh, that's true. In B2B, uh, uh, so there is no naked product. So there's always support, uh, business, uh, maintenance, follow-up, everything. So there is no, uh, so you can you can uh, sell a desk to, uh, to an office, uh, but it's an exception from the rule because I know that an example, so when this boundary is kind of migrating, it's related to services. Uh, 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 so it's a specific example when some time ago, uh, so there was B2B uh, way to sell uh, uh, software uh, to IT divisions uh, that would use it for the uh, rest of the company. So now it all goes into the cloud, and, and the sales department, uh, uh, Sberbank uh, or uh, or any paper can do can buy this cloud by themselves and use it for their own purposes. But but this is a specific example that's an exception from the rule. More often than not, so they start to buy with support, tuning, uh, service contracts, and uh, and other things. Uh, and I think that almost everything what we are talking about uh, it has to do with B2C. Uh, so because B2B, uh, no application. So B2B is uh, is branding. Uh, B2B is different. Uh, and uh, so building an image to give uh, uh, leads and uh, queries, uh, and and then and then the guy starts to. This is all individual, so this agreements between two persons, and uh, uh, and uh, so we need the brand, uh, but uh, uh, but there are lots of uh, uh, so human interactions. Um, mm. Agreements, interactions, cooperation, trying to shape into the environment of RTP. So the very case example that you were uh, giving us, so once it materializes, it's going to be an example of. Uh, a shift from B2B to B2C B2 because personal relation will matter less. Uh, so, yes, for advertising, yes, but when I see, uh, for instance, ad on TV for a fan, uh, for, for a company producing fans, you know, I saw recently, yeah, 20, the Renaissance, 20 years ago. No, recently, yeah, I saw. So, thank you very much for a very interesting story. You started telling. You started talking about the new ways uh, to deliver information. They are quite targeted when through the mobile application companies try to um, uh, bring the message to their clients, uh, uh, like Nescafe, for instance, that you told us. This is not a story of uh, delivery. This is a story of loyalty. I tried to bring the idea to you that all the digital on the whole is uh, a very good uh, discovery environment. So people learn that you have a product and that's what classical agents do. No one can do it better. They do this mix uh, and they tell people about the new product. But the application is the best tool of retention, uh, of uh, preventing churn, of loyal customer, better than uh, I don't know, uh, discount cards as a loyalty tool. I agree with you completely. This application, this app, on the other hand, is the very source of targeted uh, advertising and uh, uh, information uh, delivery message to each 
yes, but the effort to uh, install the app is the lion's share of 90% of the effort because when you already have it, uh, then you just, uh, this is a matter of, uh, or you, you, you just use it. This is a matter of uh, well, technology. When, uh, so, for instance, if you don't need it, you delete it, but still, this is the precious tool because you are, all the time, you are in the pocket of your consumer. Use it wisely so that we do, uh, but, but, but so at 3 a.m., don't remind him you have a campaign tomorrow, you know, after people send push messages with sound uh, somewhere in the small hours of the night. This is the classical way to kill your client. We decided that the price is l l l slightly lower at 4 a.m. The functionality of app is not, uh, is underused because if you go to some technical conference, like uh, to the open source world, uh, well, when you are in the room, there is a presenter uh, who who speaks, how you ask a question, a lecture, because this is geo-targeting. Very soon we shall have it in every store. Uh, you buy uh, milk, the technology is there. It's uh, two years ago when I was telling about uh, to one uh, American conference, people were laughing at me because, and, and today they use it and uh, I want to thank everyone because uh, you are not uh, all from internet but from de different industries. All the uh, boundaries between online and offline are deleted and uh, 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 wiped out. Uh, uh, wiping in the process now, all the major stores in the world uh, do it. What is a heat map of a site? Do you know? Have you heard heat map? Yes, 3.5 people heard about it. Um, when you have a page, a, a website on the screen, imagine if you have a special uh, software tools there, or if you uh, put a person with special tool uh, just watching his eyes, and you can uh, build a map of uh, highest attention concentration, for instance, maybe uh, the mouse uh, keeps uh, staying around or uh, the, the person looks at, at this spot. So how you understand how his attention is distributed across the page and then you optimize in such a way that he looks at what you need, but not at someone banner with uh, someone's bare butt. And uh, uh, this is an offline story because this heat map uh, and uh, a pile of it around it uh, with the instruments where you use uh, several years ago. The, this classic big data, um, people made a startup and uh, they realized that if you go to a big shopping mall like Mega, for instance, uh, near Moscow, uh, so you have this uh, uh, surveillance cameras of that store, I the information just for security reasons. If you take those uh, records and uh, use the a primitive software that can make difference between a, a person and a pillar. So uh, this moving object is a human being, and this is a, a, a column because it doesn't move. And then you build the heat maps of the uh, human flows across the uh, center and in each uh, room, each sh store. When they start selling this info to marketologists uh, of uh, 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 companies. So we measured in your store over this last week, we know by minutes uh, this audience spread, you know, that was the distribution. They uh, would concentrate, they would flock here, they would gravitate there. So you, we can't see it on the screen. Maybe this is something to build on uh, and uh, as proper people, they first, they were sending this info uh, uh, gratis uh, so that the uh, shops would look. But now this company earns so much money because those who started using this information to change uh, the uh, goods on the shelves or advertising materials or whatever to make uh, this uh, shelving pro uh, uh, placing on the shelves uh, different and different and suddenly discover 20% growth of sales. If you work in retail, you know what, uh, if you, what 20% what revenue growth means. This is a, a, a damn good marketing campaign. And this, this only the analysis of these pictures gives you the, the results. And we are on the threshold of this internet of things. 
Internet of Things. Yes. The thermometer, the first nice thermometer that sends data uh, about the temperature through Wi-Fi and a number of similar devices. And this company was bought for some exorbitant money by Google. Yeah, I have another funny example, you know. I have a bracelet on my hand. Uh, you might have seen uh, the job. On, it, it can, it knows uh, how many steps I made um, uh, an hour, each hour, and it can measure two other funny things at night. It uh, measures when I uh, go to sleep and when I wake up, and then it measures a slow and fast phase of my sleep. Why? I turn it on. It's good for me because it works as an alarm clock. It does not uh, wake uh, up my uh, bedmate and then because it vibrates and it wakes me up at a, a fast phase of the sleep uh, when it's good to wake up. And uh, as um, an amateur, I thought this is a profitable company. They are going to earn money selling this bracelets, bracelet. And then I spoke to their on big data at one at, at a big American conference. I understand you Russians are backward, but what kind of money? It's peanuts that we earn on bracelets. But uh, if you sell uh, data to companies, how people sleep every day in this city. So integral, you know, uh, no privacy is uh, violated. We would make so much selling the data, not the brain. This is baseless. Data, how people sleep. We are the only people who know own companies from pharma to restaurants know very much how people sleep. Questions? No. Coming back to what you told at the start. So, uh, marketologist will be superfluous. Where are you? I don't see you. To set up a campaign somewhere indirect because it will become smarter and will show uh, a better fine-tuned campaign, is it going to mean that companies that uh, place ads will compete in, uh, by through price and with the rates, or it will uh, lead us to the situation when the, there will be an opportunity for uh, lesser budget uh, for entry to show uh, some uh, l restricted uh, circle of people? What's going to happen? This is my personal opinion. I have a feeling that competition uh, actually, uh, it's the history about competition is of absolutely same stores that in Moscow sell same fridge, for instance, uh, they are about for the approximately same money and just compete with the margin because uh, one uh, advertises better and the other uh, advertises worse. Well, this concept will die off. Uh, so without having uh, some real uh, value added, you know, it does not have to be functional, it can be emotional. So the person feels why he wants to buy this fridge at your store. And this, uh, that's where marketing will go. Not uh, 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 if you are smart indirect, but we are coming back to the loyalty. Why people will use you? And that's uh, where uh, you can work creatively. How do you make people love you? No algorithm will tell you. It can give you data and then without a revelation or a great idea, nothing can be done. But this is a classic story. You know when uh, uh, there are many products, investments, ads, uh, and money, and the difference is 2 3% in uh, convenience, uh, love to the product, and the quality of people, uh, your stuff will make you into a leader uh, who uh, will become an absolute. This is called consolidation. This is what you call consolidation in the market. And to stay in your niche and live in your niche, you need to invent it and not just invent it, but make the people believe in it. And that's where algorithm can uh, deliver important information. But without uh, the good idea, you do nothing. More questions? I have a question about the data that can be obtained from the users. Can Yandex get age, uh, university, and other data? You know, 
uh, there is some probability that yes. So the simplest targeting in, in is by gender. The simplest, it works on a probability basis, but not much worse in targeting than a social network where people uh, tell you many things because beha behavior of boys and girls actually different is different. Uh, uh, yeah, more difficult about the university. I'm not sure that there is. I understand how to train the system to uh, uh, because a graduate of no of some Siberian university, but you cannot. Uh, I don't think you can teach the system or, or to. Uh, or I don't think he will be very different uh, from. Uh, a graduate of uh, 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 Southern University. What about the social network? No. This is a question to um, social network. Because people tell much more about themselves, yes. But it's interesting to merge information from Yandex. Yeah, data, cookie, and things. You can always capture it, but uh, we do not use this profile information on purpose. We prefer to do those procedures with uh, machine learning because they always work uh, on a much wider scale. Let me explain why automatic uh, learning is important. The classical experiment that we made uh, uh, in domestic ads, we needed to advertise an app on iOS. Uh, there is a simplest way to find a group of people who definitely have iOS device for Yandex. People who went, for instance, we know their login, and knowing their login, we can uh, find cookies, and for instance, who went to Yandex through iOS device. We just know that uh, Jack read his email on an iPhone, and uh, we can surely show him an ad of Yandex transport for iOS. There's That's one way. This is, uh, and it is very exact, this precise, it gives you uh, uh, pro proper information just without the banner targeting the conversion is much higher and it's clear why what's the uh, 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 disadvantage uh, what's the deficiency for instance uh, Jack has an iPhone but he uh, uh, never read his email from iPhone because he has a different Google email whatever and we can do something else uh, uh, we can uh, teach some people, for instance, this uh, sampling. Uh, look, the iOS user behaves in a big network when he doesn't uh, go from iOS. He doesn't leave any tracks, uh, but his behavior is as such. And uh, then we show again the ad for those targeted targeting people. When we had 20 fold of them, because they didn't really sign, but they were similar to those who have iOS and who behave this way. And it's only the machine who uh, analyzes them by 200 parameters. And the efficiency turned out to be the same as login targeting. So this is the answer. In your case, it's not every Siberian graduate will write about it, about himself. He would not just fill in his profile. So yes, you care about the accuracy, but again, use the data pro properly uh, when the people write their graduates. But if you want uh, com complete uh, information, just uh, learn from the uh, sampling from social media. But we do not work with personal information. Probably it's our motto. We do not want to uh, into our commercial product. We do not want to squeeze in any personal information that can be used through reverse engineering turn into um, uh, personal data uh, on, on disclosure. We don't want to work with this class of information because judging for exp by experience for 95% of tasks, for instance, I need all my classmates, all guys uh, who were graduates at, uh, from uh, who, who finished my school. This so machine cannot do but do that. But this is a very rare case for 95% of commercial purposes. This um, uh, training, uh, uh, sampling through learning works. And this is absolutely uh, kind of uh, uh, impersonal. This is a marketing tool that needs to be used. Other companies are for, for that. I suggest we move on. 
you said that uh, previous marketologist functionality like analytics, uh, math, uh, uh, get extinct and better no analytics will never be extinct i never told yeah not analytics yes but some machine data what will still marketologists have what functionality and the competences mastering the technological interfaces will remain for a long time context advertising a guy promoting um context uh, advertising interfaces and uh, target words mail.ru mail Yandex Direct is uh, not really fit for digital promotion uh, yes certainly not a simple answer is you can uh, know nothing come to the agency there are experts yes and, and uh, but uh, in this event uh, we uh, uh, we need to know how to talk to them, how to uh, to make your statement uh, uh, that the cost of mistake, the cost of mistake will uh, will grow. It, uh, so the mistakes become very valuable. And uh, 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 what's this, what what is at stake? Uh, so many brand managers, marketing managers. Uh, so because they are getting wrong briefs, and. Uh, and if there is no not much competition in certain segments, uh, so it does not kill the product. But uh, uh, in time, uh, so the quality of the analytics and the proper segmentation of machine segmentation, computer segmentation, uh, will result in certain companies uh, uh, having advantages uh, over other companies because our SMG. So then, it's, it's, so then it, it, ten percent is uh, uh, is internet and the rest is TV. Uh, but uh, if uh, the TV advertising, so but once the TV advertising reduces, uh, so then certainly it, uh, they need to be more careful about segmentation. And then the answer is we need to understand how these technologies work. Uh, and uh, and uh, we can again see what was happening uh, so last, uh, uh, so during the last crisis, a couple of years ago, we had a crisis, uh, not a severe, it's not a severe crisis. Uh, the companies, uh, that, uh, that the sales, uh, if they have had a lot of sales in the internet, uh, so they can properly uh, uh, so use the instruments correctly. But if they, uh, uh, or they can install a certain system of web analytics, uh, Google Analytics, Yandex um, uh, Analytics, and that's to set the goals, their objectives. Uh, and so watching, so, and, uh, and so there are less than 50% than, than of such companies. So, so half of the size that do any commercial functions do not contain. I'm, I'm just telling you in a responsible fashion, they don't have any, any codes of uh, uh, analytic uh, uh, systems. And then it becomes known that uh, so during the first crisis, those who reduced the budgets and then disappeared uh, were the ones that did not have analytical uh, the system, uh, systems analytics. Why? Because uh, because you are less efficient, you have high costs. You you waste your marketing uh, marketing budget, and uh, uh, so because uh, during the uh, so that during the crisis, so you cannot already lower the prices. So those uh, uh, who do the marketing right and do the uh, analytics well, so they win. Uh, so who they optimize the digital communications channels. Uh, so that the conversion uh, or or not the clicks conversion so they need the conversion uh, so then uh, those who come and those who buy and uh, it's more important uh, the last conference was saying so how many clients uh, do the testing uh, of their sites many spend a lot of money on advertising uh, so then uh, uh, so what we see that the old approach when the client comes to web studio and the agency says I need the site any designer just draws the incorrect option, and uh, I, uh, I, I fully, I fully understand that the only, the only thing I have to do is just to draw five good sites and then capitalize on them, uh, and uh, uh, and that's just to get a better conversion rate. But that, that doesn't work that way, and. Uh, 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 so, but those who uh, approach this in a systemic manner will get the advantage in the market uh, because the marketing school does not provide for that because uh, they say that you spoke about the brand for this audience and then 
they go to the media and that's it and then you launch the program uh, advertising but it doesn't work that way anymore mm. and uh, that's uh, and uh, moreover uh, so then the uh, classical communications uh, for example the t TV uh, TV commercials uh, uh, so then you may still make mistakes about this kind of uh, advertising We, we work with many research agencies and, uh, and uh, uh, so they do protests if it is there's a big TV uh, brand awareness uh, uh, mentionings uh, etc but the sales don't grow why and that uh, we had the same kind of uh, system with social media and uh, we analyze uh, the f f Facebooks and uh, we see uh, we learn how the people uh, uh, react respond to that and uh, so people because people are bored at the office uh, so they like to see this beautiful picture so what it uh, what this car would like uh, you know against the uh, background of the mountains or the rivers uh, or beautiful scenery and uh, so that's why they, they like that appear and then the competition between social media is increasing everyone just goes deeper and because you cannot uh, uh, put too much information because no one no one will look uh, 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 and it will not go over them so you need just to explain to the client why this is this is the way it is arranged not the other way and eventually then to, uh, so we have lots of instruments everyone is trying to use different instruments but then uh, so those who will not be able to use these instruments properly they will die out mm. become extinct and uh, and uh, uh, the head of uh, uh, a big, a big, a big network head said that the classical madman uh, is the guy who, uh, who actually uh, generated the new idea and everyone enjoyed it. And, and uh, but we need just to find someone who says that is great, but who can compare, analyze, improve. That's exactly what we need to do in the near future. I have to say that. Uh, mm now that we um, so now we are in a crisis situation and uh, so this is where the efficiency of marketing will it require special importance uh, so likes on pages uh, visibility banners conversion so a conversion is the most important where they use digital communications if you fail to optimize that you will be the first to go so on this cheerful note, uh, uh, we are uh, wrapping up. Uh, thank you very much for your time.